Hello everyone, my name is Emma Lemke. I am originally from Birmingham, Alabama, but currently I am a sophomore studying political science at Washington University in St. Louis. I am humbled and honored to be here today. I created my first social media account, Instagram, in the sixth grade. To me, as 12 year old girl to 12 year old me, these platforms seemed almost magical. But as I began to spend more time online, I was met with a harsh reality. Social media was not magic. It was an illusion, a product that was predicated on maximizing my attention at the cost of my well-being. As my screen time increased, my mental and physical health suffered. The constant quantification of my worth through likes, comments, and followers heightened my anxiety and deepened my depression. As a young woman, the constant exposure to unrealistic body standards and harmful recommended content led me towards disordered eating and severely damaged my sense of self. But no matter the harm incurred, addictive features like autoplay and the endless scroll pulled me back into the online world where I continued to suffer. And there I remained for over three years, mindlessly scrolling for five to six hours a day. I eventually reached a breaking point in the ninth grade and I began the long and difficult process of rebuilding my relationship with technology in a healthier way. Senators, my story is not one in isolation. It is a story representative of my generation, Generation Z. As the first digital natives, we have the deepest understanding of the harms of social media through our lived experiences. But it is from those experiences that we can begin to build the most promising solutions. It is only when young people are given a place at the table that effective solutions can emerge and safer online spaces can be created. The power of youth voices is far too great to continue to be ignored. Through Log Off, I have engaged with hundreds of kids across the globe and who have shared their experiences of harm with me. I have listened as young people have told me stories of online harassment, vicious cyberbullying, unwanted direct messages. But most powerfully, I have heard as members of my generation have expressed concern not just for our own well being, but for younger siblings, for cousins, and for all those to come after us. While our stories may differ, we share the frustration of being portrayed as passive victims of big tech. We are ready to be active agents of change, rebuilding new and safer online spaces for the next generation. 10 years from now, social media will not be what it is today. It will be what members of my generation build it to be. We want to build it differently. We want to build it right. I came here today as the representative for those young change makers to be the voice, not just of those in my generation who have been harmed or who are currently struggling, but to be a voice for all of those 12 year old girls yet to come. The genie is out of the bottle and we will never go back to a time where social media does not exist, nor should we, but make no mistake, unregulated social media is a weapon of mass destruction that continues to jeopardize the safety, privacy, and well-being of all American youth. It's time to act. And I urge you, senders, to, make, to take meaningful steps to regulate these companies, not just for our generation and my generation, but with my generation. Integrating youth lived experiences is essential in the regulatory process in getting it right.